The cardiac arrest that Bills player DeMar Hamlin suffered on the field Monday night has shoved heart health into the spotlight. Around 200,000 people this year will have pacemaker surgery. A pacemaker sends electrical currents into the heart, shocking it back into regular rhythm. But after six years or so, the wires or the leads can start failing, often when people need them most. Ursula Perry reports on a new type of pacemaker that may keep hearts going without using any wires at all. How did you feel six months ago? How do you feel now? The answers to these questions can reveal a lot. Sometimes it's age, sometimes it's not, and sometimes it's a sign you do have a heart problem. Patients experience fatigue, tiredness, lightheadedness, dizziness, inability to, you know, meet the needs of daily life. People with slower than normal heart rates may need a pacemaker that sends electrical impulses to shock the heart back into a normal rhythm. Baptist Health electrophysiologist Vanaka Sagi is leading a study using a new leadless or wireless pacemaker. It's smaller than a AAA battery. Unlike traditional pacemakers, this new leadless pacemaker does not require a large incision in the chest. Instead, a catheter is used to insert it inside the heart. The advantage of this new technology is that there are two separate pacemakers that are implanted, one in the bottom chamber, one in the top chamber. The two devices wirelessly communicate with each other to restore a normal heart rhythm. They will find a, a remarkable improvement in their quality of life immediately. Today's currently FDA-approved pacemakers can't be retrieved when they fail. In other words, that pacemaker stays inside you and a new one is put next to it. These wireless pacemakers actually can be retrieved with just a simple little catheter surgery. The old one taken out, a new one put in. They should be approved by the FDA sometime in 2023. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you want to get notifications on new videos about restaurants from across the Lone Star State, make sure to hit that subscribe button.